Hello and welcome to Apina Press, uh, WordPress for Internet Marketers. Today we're going to be looking at um, local installations, uh, local servers. Um, this is where you can create uh, a version of WordPress. You can do pretty much everything that you do on a live server, but it's on your own computer. So you can change the themes, um, change the plugins, you can even add content. Uh, one of the main uses for it is to test out theme changes and code changes. So if you want to add a little bit of code snippet but you're worried that it's going to really mess up the site or even potentially break the site, then you can do it in an offline environment. So if you do break something, it's not really that much of an issue. You can fix it, your visitors and customers will know absolutely no difference about it because um, they'll never see it. Now, setting up one of these is quite easy to do, um, but it does take a little bit of uh, a little bit of knowledge. So I'm going to run through uh, the system with you, and we'll set one up uh, on my computer, and you can follow along. So, the first thing that we need to do is uh, Google for the appropriate software. Now, there's a few variations of this. Um, there's WAMP, LAMP, MAMP, and ZAMP. With, with an X. I'm going to base it on ZAMP because it's the one I use. Uh, but you can have a, a look see into the other ones and see which one's best for you. Um, so once you've, once you've Googled it, uh, it's uh, apachefriends.org. So I'm going to click on here. Now, word to the wise, you see these icons up here. These are actually adverts. So don't click them. What we need to do is scroll down a little bit and ZAMP for Windows is what we're after. And again, ignore this advert. Download ZAMP and it brings you to here. Now you can either download the installer, the zip, or the 7 zip. Um, and it's as simple as just clicking it and saving it to your computer. Now, again, the download will start in 3, 2, one, all of these are just adverts. I'm actually going to cancel that off because I've already downloaded it because the file size is obviously quite large so it takes a few minutes to, uh, to actually do something. So, let me just move this over here. In my temporary file, I've already got the installer. So I'm literally just going to double click it and it'll bring up all this lovely goodness. I'm getting an error message here. You may or may not get this, um, but I already have an installation of XAMPP running. So um, if you get it, just click OK. Uh, so next. Now I would recommend putting this into the root directory. So like here I've got it as C temp zamp. I would recommend just putting it as C zamp. Um, again, I cannot do that because I already have an installation of zamp running. So just for testing purposes, I'm gonna put it there. Um, but you don't have to do that. You can put it in a, uh, another folder if you if you want to. Um, also, obviously make sure you've got enough uh, space available. It's uh, half a gig in size. A few options here. Um, you can pretty much leave these as they are. You know, create a desktop icon and put a start folder. I'm just going to click that off because I don't want the start folder for this installation. The service section, um, I tend to leave as blank. Um, what it does is if you add them as a service, when your com uh, computer boots up, they will actually instantly start Apache, instantly start MySQL and FileZilla. Um, I don't want that. Uh, I don't want the resources of uh, my computer to constantly be um, using um, XAMPP. So I just set, leave them blank and you can, uh, when you click the program later on, you can just start it up and I'll show you how. So if we click install, and this will install it. Now this takes a little while to do, so I'm just going to speed the process up a little bit.
So as you can see, I've uh, miraculously made it install. Um, one thing I didn't catch on the video was that it does pop up a little uh, DOS box, uh, but that just disappears uh, on its own accord. So I'm just going to finish this. Uh, do I want to start the control panel now? Yes, I do. This is the control panel. Um, when you start up ZAMP, this is what you'll see. Really, there's not much you need to do here. Um, generally, when you're wanting to use ZAMP, you click Start on Apache and Start on MySQL. Then you can just minimize it. Um, what do you do from there? Well, you need to, let me just bring that into focus. You need to go to what's called localhost. Now, localhost is literally just your computer. It's where the server is. So um, your computer's the local host. The computer that your website is um, hosted on to that website is the local host. So it's just that computer. Now, you've got a few choices in language, but we're gonna run in English. And this is the ZAMP uh, main uh, area. In order to start up a, a WordPress site, uh, what you need to do is firstly create the database. So you go to PHP My Admin, and then we need to create a new database. And click Databases, create a new one. What should we call this? Uh, Apina Press Test Database. Just get a copy of that and create. Okay, so that's easy enough to do. Okay, so what we need to do now is set up a new user. So what I'm going to do is click uh, Apina Press Test Database, or whatever yours is called, More and Privileges. Then add a new user and add in the username you want to give it here. The host needs to be localhost and then a password. We need to do that twice. Then where it says database for user, uh, make sure it's grant all privileges on the database and whatever your database is called. Scroll down to the bottom and click go. And that creates it. So now what we we'll need to do is set up the WordPress site. So I'm going to go back to the um, folder where uh, we've installed Word, uh, ZAMP and click into that. And in the ZAMP folder is a folder called htdocs. This is where all your installations of uh, WordPress are going to be. Um, what I generally do is I create a, an individual um, WordPress installation for each and every site that I'm, I'm messing with. Uh, there might be other options for you to do, such as a WordPress multi-site or reusing one, etc. But uh, I tend to create a new one. It takes five minutes once you've done a few and uh, doesn't really take up that much space. So I'm going to create a new folder here. I'll call it AP test go into it. Uh, I'm just going to use a copy of um, the latest WordPress. So I tend to, and that just needs to go to your folder you just created, so in this case AP test. Um, I tend to take all the files out of the WordPress folder, so it will be um, localhost uh, the, the site name, so AP test, and then the files, rather than localhost, AP test, WordPress, and then the files. I just think it looks better on live sites, definitely, and it's just one folder less to click through because I'm lazy. So once those files have moved over, uh, let's go to the correct one. Uh, you need to find the WP config sample file and rename it to wp-config. Then open it up and there's three things that you need to change. The database name, the username and the password. 
the database name is literally, literally what you called the database. So it was uh, in a press test database. Just my log. Uh, the username is the user that you allocated to the database. So for here, it's AP test user. And the password is the user's password. So I've got that. Then you just need to save that file. What you need to do then is go back to your um, browser and find, uh, type into the browser bar, sorry, HTTP localhost slash and then whatever you called the site, so or the folder, so in this case AP test. So if you put installed WordPress into uh, a folder called um, Wibble, you put localhost slash Wibble. Um, then the WordPress install comes up. So just create it as you normally would. So add a site name, a username, uh, and a password. Um, I, I also take the privacy off here, but it's irrelevant. The server's not going to be up that often anyway. Uh, install WordPress. And then log in. And there you have it. You now have a local copy of um, your site. You can add whatever themes you want to it, um, uh, plugins, uh, content. You can download um, from your existing site, if you have an existing site already, uh, the content um, via a database plugin uh, and uh, import it into your local host. So you've got much more similar um, setup for, for testing. Um, and uh, you can mess about with uh, child themes here, uh, code edits and so forth, all without it affecting uh, your live site. And then you can obviously go back to the live site and implement those changes there. Uh, and there you have it, uh, how to uh, install a, a local server using XAMPP. Um, if you have any further questions regarding this, or, or if you've got uh, further WordPress questions, uh, you can contact me uh, via apinapress.com um, or if you're a wealthy affiliate member I'm usually in the live chat system there. Thank you.